from nearly being killed by insanely brutal maneuvers to thinking that a crowd-popping climax was just out-and-out -out dumb in hindsight. Each of the following wrestlers clearly won't be in any rush to replay their greatest slash most savage hits later down the road. I'm Gareth from What Culture Wrestling and here are 10 wrestling spots wrestlers regret. Number 10, Mick Foley regrets taking too many chair shots from The Rock. Royal Rumble 1999. You'd be forgiven for assuming that the legendary Mick Foley had more than a few merciless moments he likely regrets upon a recap. But as it goes, the mankind man only seems to class one bump or series of bumps in this case, as a time he maybe went a little bit too far. Referring to his Savage Royal Rumble 1999 I Quit classic opposite The Rock, Foley would take to Twitter in paying tribute to the contest, admitting to the great one that the pair may have gone a little too far on this particular evening. And when re-watching the excessively violent showcase that went down in front of his family during the Beyond the Mat documentary, Foley would also admit, I don't feel like such a good dad anymore. Few kids can honestly call their pops one of the toughest folks ever to walk the face of the earth and whip out the footage to prove it. But you can understand why Mick likely would change a few of these more vicious beats if he had the chance to go back. Number 9. Kevin Owens' Raw Senton Destroyed Him Raw 2021 Providing another recent dose of evidence to suggest he'd rather scrape his crumpled and mangled self off the floor every week than be labelled a basic worker, Kevin Owens took what he himself described as one of the worst and perhaps ill-advised bumps of his career during a contest opposite a certain an almighty contender in December of last year. In fact, the senton Owens executed from the apron to the outside, with Bobby Lashley wisely evading for Owens to land square on his back, has now found itself in some rather illustrious company. As the former Universal Champion would reveal in a response to the Always on the Ball Myth Gifts Twitter account, I often get asked what hurt me the most throughout my career, and there's two specific things that always come to mind, but as of last night, there's a new answer to add to that list because for some reason this absolutely destroyed me. So don't expect to see KO throwing this one out on free TV again anytime soon. Number 8. Bobby Fish quits using the 450 splash after breaking his nose on the independent scene. Bobby Fish is an outstanding in-ring veteran known for many things. Performing out-of-this-world acrobatics off the top rope, though, haven't exactly been prevalent in his arsenal for a great many years. That's not to say that Fish hasn't tried his hand at a few moves capable of taking the roof off of a bingo hall, however, but after being left with a seriously messy up mug in the wake of one particularly bad landing. Fish ultimately made the wise call to scrap one always exhilarating spot from his toolkit. As Fish would confess later down the road, early in my career I did a 450 splash, and I missed it, and I smashed my face and broke my nose. I didn't feel wonderful, and the result was that I stopped doing the 450. Probably a good call. Oh, and adding further insult to injury, former Undisputed Era pal and now All Elite partner Adam Cole would chime in during this same conversation to add, and you still have a crooked knows. Number 7, Adam Cole almost died after a Kevin Steen brain buster PWG. Years before both men would find their own versions of success within the walls of Vince McMahon's company, Kevin Steen and Adam Cole, a baby, would come to blows in a match that was predictably a bit of a banger. As it goes, one of the pair's bouts against one another under the Pro Wrestling Gorilla banner resulted in the eventual boom merchant hurting so bad that he felt like he almost died. The moving question that led to this feeling of very much being on death Death's door involved Cole being set up for a brain buster off the top rope. Cole somehow fell and performed a 450 flip onto his belly and knees. Despite this intense landing, Cole would go on to finish the bout, only to realize just how bad of a number he'd done on himself backstage, admitting I was physically shaking because it hurt so bad. Needless to say, it's little wonder we don't see top rope brain busters going down within the worlds of WWE and AEW each and every week. Number 6, AJ Styles says a D-Lo Brown frog splash was not fun. TNA Turning phenomenal into an art form over the last two decades, AJ Styles has dished out his fair share of body-shattering high-risk offense on unsuspecting opponents throughout his career. But the one spot he'd likely take back didn't involve him soaring through the air at all. On this occasion, the TNA stalwart was the one laid out on a table below. Recalling his match against D'Lo Brown on an episode of Total Non-Stop Action, Styles revealed to his Twitch fans a few years ago that one of arguably the worst bumps of his career took place in that contest. Describing the beat that would ultimately leave him knocked out for a brief spell, Styles would add, D'Lo was probably 250 at the time, coming from an 8-foot ladder to the outside. So that's probably at least 10 foot for a big man coming down to the floor, 
that was not fun. Styles is no stranger to throwing himself from the ring to the outside en route to splatting a rival through a table. But taking a meaty splash from a 250 pounder through some wood and dealing it out yourself are two very different scenarios indeed. Number 5. Sami Zayn regrets injuring Super Dragon with a somersault van terminator. PWG. While there's always a chance a freak slip, trip or fall will result in a painful night for someone, those moments aren't exactly known for leaving their opponent feeling incredibly guilty post contest. The same cannot be said for a spot involving one Sami Zayn during his time as part of the exciting PWG movement however. Coming during a bout involving one of the promotion's founders, Super Dragon, Zayn would recall to Fox Sports Ryan Satin the time he accidentally injured his opponent on the back of a pretty darn nutty move. In revealing his somersault Van Terminator on Super Dragon to be the move he'd like to take back if he could, Zayn would say, I think I concussed him pretty bad. I still feel really rotten about it because that's like, I'm pretty sure the only time I ever hurt anybody and I felt terrible. Number 4. Cody Rhodes thinks his fiery table spot was dumb. AEW Dynamite 2021. Cody Rhodes is many things, including a free agent now if reported to be believed. But a star who dials it in is simply not one of them. Perhaps his all-round balmy bump during a match against Andrade El Idolo towards the latter part of 2021 on an episode of AEW Dynamite. But that doesn't necessarily mean the charred TNT champion would be in a rush to incinerate himself for the paying public again if given the chance. When reliving the bout that he still bears burn scars from today with comicbook.com, Rhodes would class the match ending fiery table spot as maybe the dumbest thing I've ever done. Without skipping a beat though, he'd also admit that man it was cool. No arguments here. It's safe to say that Rhodes definitely achieved what he set out to do in the brutal street fight. That being producing a barbaric fight that was anything but a basic Betty. But you forgive the American nightmare for dialing back on those sort of stunts going forward now that he's daddy to a baby girl and making waves outside of the land of all elite. Number 3. Stone Cold Steve Austin regrets stunning Linda McMahon. Raw 2005. With the Texas rattlesnake handing out Stone Cold stunners to everyone from future presidents to even the boss himself, it seems as though the legendary Steve Austin holds few regrets about pretty much any of the ass whoopings he's handed out over the years. But as the WWE Hall of Famer would admit in a conversation with Fox Sports last year, there is actually one particular stunner he wishes he could take back. Noting an instance that involved him blasting Linda McMahon with the iconic finisher in the middle of the ring on a 2005 episode of Raw, Austin would admit, I loved her and we kind of botched it a little bit, right? And I wanted to be gentle with her, so probably that one. It's not hard to see why the sight of Stone Cold stunning his way through both Linda and Stephanie McMahon is an act you won't be seeing again on WWE programming anytime soon. But it appears Austin was a little more annoyed about the overall execution of his trademark full stop than anything else. Number 2. Shawn Michaels wasn't too happy about a lack of support. Crown Jewel 2018. Before Big Bill nearly killed a dead man, not sure how that works, another moment held the crown of most embarrassing and disturbing veteran-made botch of the Saudi age. As Degeneration X finally collided with the Brothers of Destruction under the bright lights of the King Saud University Stadium at Crown Jewel 2018. An HBK fresh out of retirement decided to turn back the clock with a dramatic moonsault to the outside. Only nobody seemed to have told Kane and The Undertaker about this jaw-dropping spot, resulting in the 53-year-old Shawn Michaels landing splat on his head on the outside. As Dave Meltzer of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter would report around the time, you saw when he landed he didn't look happy at all. And Sure enough, it didn't take long for Michaels to admit that this was a one and done, revealing that the match acted as a reminder of why he's not going to do it again shortly after. Number 1. Darby Allen's dive-induced brain hemorrhage was the worst. New Orleans Indie Show Classed by many as the single greatest performer of the maneuver you'll find today, the sight of Darby Allen flinging himself through the ropes at an unfortunate soul makes for a thing of sheer beauty. However, there's feeling a few aches of pain from a rough landing, and then there's the catastrophic result of what came after the dive Allen performed on Joey Janela at a New Orleans indie show. Recounting the horrific tale to Robbie Fox on My Mum's Basement, Allen would reveal his suicide dive on Janela in the match as the worst bump of his career after his head accidentally smashed off the concrete floor. If that wasn't bad enough, the AEW pillar would confess, afterwards I went to the hospital and they're saying, yo, you're bleeding from the brain, and I was like, fludge. It didn't say fludge, but you can read between the lines. As Allen would plainly put it, you can 
break my ankle, you can break my arm, but you start messing with my brain, oh, that's the worst. Alan has since refused to dial back his barmy antics, of course, but this excruciating brain hemorrhage incident is one he'd likely take back in a heartbeat. Or maybe not, the guy's nuts. And that's our list. Know of any other wrestling spots wrestlers regret? Let us know all about them in the comments section right down below, and do not forget to like, share, and click on that subscribe button. Also, if you fancy it, why not head on over to whatculture.com and find some more awesome articles just like the one this video you are watching is based on. If you get me? Yeah. As always, I've been Gareth from What Culture Wrestling, bumbling my way through a video, and I hope I'll see you very, very soon. Bye-bye!